this is just a short guide on Andromeda's Nebula to show you how to get power, pack a punch, the bows, and a few other things. First thing you want to do is go upstairs and pick what your starting weapon is. Pressure systems offline. Network status stable. Upstairs from that room is a red switch to interact with, and it'll open the door and start the match. The game is starting. Scans showing multiple enemies in the area. Open all the way back to the power room. It's going to be in this church here. Make sure you get yourself a half decent weapon because when you turn the power on, it's going to spawn a Margwa. Once you get power on, you can link the three teleporters, similar to how you do it in the giant. You need to go to each teleporter and then return back to the middle area to link it. Once you've linked all three teleporters, pack a punch is now open and you have access to more of the map. And there's also going to be a satellite that spawns in one of five locations you need to pick up. Place the satellite back at spawn, right above the arrow. The next step, you need to have a pack a punch gun, and you go teleport up to the spaceship and shoot the skull. Once you've shot the skull, you're able to actually build the bows now. You're not able to start the bow quest until this point. First, collect the keycard that gives you access to the fire pit. Keycard access. There's going to be three logs around the area in random spawns that you need to pick up and bring to the middle area. Just watch out when you grab one, it slows you down a lot, but you can still slide. Once you get the third log placed, you need to get a fire Margwa to come in and do his attack to spread the fire and light it. Now you just get kills filling it with souls. You'll know that they're going in when you see the fire effect come off. Fire started. Yep, looks like the fire bow is ready to go. Take it when ready. You're going to want to collect the three parts for the jump pad, and they spawn in the same spot in every game. Yeah. 
over on the island with double tap and stamina up, you're able to build the jump pad here. And when you go across, you're going to be put into a lockdown where you have to fill four soul boxes and kill a Margwa. There's six boxes around the map that you need to melee. The order doesn't matter and they're always in the same locations. After you melee all six boxes in the path between Speed Cola and the jump pad over to the Fire Island, there's a room that you go underneath to start a lockdown. In here, you need to shoot the lamp until you get the blue effect coming from it, and you need to move that around six times. You'll hear an audio cue when that lamp is finished being shot, but it also can jump back to the same lamp it was on before. You just need to run around the room shooting all the lamps until you see the effect. There's a box when you interact with it, it's going to display a word. Inside the underwater cave is three boxes that control what the letters are. The box down on the right is going to control the last letter of the word. It will cycle through D, L, and F. The second box down here, just to the left if you're coming down, is going to control the first letter of the word. It cycles through C, D, and W. 
And finally, this box up by double tap controls the middle two letters. This box cycles through OO, EE, -E, and EA. You want to set the boxes so when you go hit this final box at the top to say the word, it spells woof. Then head back downstairs and go into the water area here and it'll start a lockdown. This is only timed. You can survive and make points. The shield has three parts and they each have three spawns. Here's the first three spawns for the first part. Leave me alone! Here are the three spawns for the rocket part. Here are the three spawns for the eagle part. You can build the shield right behind Quick Revive. The rake has three spawns, and in a co-op game, only one person needs to grab it and everybody can use it. Use it early and often to get power-ups and drops and upgrade it to the gold rake for even better rewards. And on the other two islands, there's jump pads that you can uncover with. For the free Arnies, you need to get any type of Margwa and lure him up to the safe and have him slam up against it to open up the keycard. Doing this early in your game is best, and you can use the Margwa that you get from turning on power to do it. Pick up this keycard and then head over to the island with PhD on it. You need to first grab the key card that's on the PhD island and open up the area to the fire key pit. Key card access granted. Next, go to the building with Widow's Wine and place the key card. Key card access granted. A new area of the map will now open up, and there's going to be a green skull at the dead end corridor. If you interact with that, it's going to start a timed lockdown where only napalm zombies will spawn, and you're going to have your guns taken away. All you have to do is survive for just over a minute. It's best if you get close to a napalm and run away and have them explode. I recommend getting some perks, at least Jug and Quicker Vibe if you're solo. Ring the doorbell outside of the building with Widow's Wine, and ring the doorbell on the building outside of Stamina, and then when you go back to the main hub area, there's a doorbell so at the very top. When you ring ammo. that, a new door will open and you have access to jump pads to get you to each island. <laughs> 